How you doing today? We're gonna to build two quick woodworking projects, one of which is a Lazy Susan. Let's get started. So if you're looking for quick woodworking projects that you can build to give as gifts or quick woodworking projects that you can sell, these two are perfect for that. We typically sell these chevrons for about $30 a set. Uh, come in sets of three. They're very easy to make. You can make them out of your scrap wood. You can make this out of scrap wood, or you can make one like this out of scrap wood also. I'm gonna show you how to make the round version and the square version of the Lazy Susan. Link in the description below to the Lazy Susan hardware. You can get four of them for less than $15. This is a four inch version. You can get six, eight, whatever. They're ball bearing design. They glide super smooth. This makes a great centerpiece. This is actually made out of walnut, white oak, and then on the edges, some black willow that I had. Hey, don't worry if you don't have hardwood like this, walnut, white oak. We're gonna build one out of a common one by six. That is one by six if you're not Southern. So don't worry about that. If you do want some hardwood and you don't know where to get it, I'm gonna drop a link in the description below. You can go to rockler.com. They actually sell a different size material, already dried, everything like that. You just, or you can actually even order a butcher block kit and make your own butcher block out of the hardware or out of the hardwoods that they've already provided for you. So if you don't have access to that, it's a good way to get it. If you don't have access to this, let's get into this video. I'm not a photographer or a videographer, but I'm sure cleaning the lens with a shirt tail is probably not recommended. First small project or quick project that you can make to sell. We've made several of these and sold some. They work out well, they look nice, people like them. Chevrons, this is so simple. You can build these out of your drops, buy you a one before and cut them 30 degree angles. Let me show you how I do it. First thing you do is cut your first angle. So this is just a common spruce one before. My saw has an automatic detent at 31 and a half or 31.6 degrees. You can put it at 30 if you're just using your um, speed square or something to get your angle, but 30 to 31 and a half degrees is perfectly fine. Either one of those work. Then we'll just cut. You can make them as long as you want, but I make these about eight inches long from the long tip of the angle to the short tip, and you're gonna cut parallel angles. And then I'll just take the first one I've made that I've cut, lay on top, make sure they're exactly the same length or very close to the same length. I mean, if it's not perfect, nobody will know. So now I have these two pieces and they're just gonna fit together like this. It's extremely simple. The sharper angle, uh, the more obviously the sharper the chevron. These are that 30 degree angle, so they look like a nice angle there. And how I attach these, you can glue these together because they're only gonna be wall decorations. Just put you some wood glue on there. Make sure that the top and the bottom fit together and you can just hold these together or take your small clamp and hold some pressure on there. They'll work just fine or if you're in a hurry. Uh, what I do, I just take my pocket old jig. This is the K5. I highly recommend this one. Drill me two pocket holes in there. These are the inch and a quarter Craig pocket hole screws. Craig face clamp. I like to move the face clamp down uh, right where the screws are gonna go in that keeps everything nice and even. There's no wait time. There's no wait for the glue to dry. That sucker's there. And we hang ours with uh, command strips or you can get the little alligator clips. It's got the little teeth on it. Attach on there so people can hang them. They're very inexpensive. These things are so simple to make. You can make them with a circular saw and a, uh, any way to make an angle, a 30 degree angle. Pocket hole screws or you can actually glue them together so you don't even need a pocket hole jig. You can buy these command strips at Walmart or on Amazon. You can round these edges over if you have a router or you can chamfer them if you have a chamfer it for your router or you can just leave them square this is this one is just a square one by four there's nothing done to it other than we sanded it with 120 grit sandpaper you can check out how we do this distressing uh, the link will be in, to the video will be in the description below but these are very simple you can stain them you can paint them any number of ways and they make excellent wall art decorations so you could probably get three and a half four sets of these out of a 10 foot one by four let's check out the next project that's a lazy Susan. These are easy to make. You can sell them. So if I was gonna make another one of these, let me let me get my tape here. This is a one by six, just a common spruce one by six. This lazy Susan is 14 inches in diameter. Longest piece I would need would be 14 inches, and you're gonna need three pieces. One, two, three. I'm just gonna come over to the miter saw, measure 14 inches. And I'm gonna make a mark. 
And this will be my center board. So the 14 inches is the longest one you're gonna need. You can make these out of drops. You can buy your own one by six and make a couple of these. So I'm actually making one of these out of all scrap lumber that I've had, I've got laying around. And I'll just lay that 14 inch piece on top of the other one. Now you can joint these with a table saw. Link in the description below to that video if you haven't seen that. If you want to, have that real tight, seamless joint. Uh, you can see that seam right there, but it is a very tight joint because those uh, edges were uh, jointed with the table saw. I don't have a joint. However, a more rustic look, or if your board will fit together pretty good, it looks like this one's going to, I'm gonna leave that seam in there to make things easier because it's not gonna matter on a lazy susan like that because a, a board this one by six actually has a little bit of a rounded edge from the factory and so it'll give it a little of an indent there where they join together and we're just going to join these together you can do it with glue if you got a nice tight seam and you can clamp it together i'm gonna do pocket holes again because they're fast strong and they work before you do the pocket holes i highly recommend go ahead and lay out your circle this does a couple of things one you'll see how your board's going to be able to fit together and make sure there's not a giant gap in those two because sometimes if your board is warped or has a some type of imperfection in there you'll be able to see that gap and you can choose not to use that piece or whatever but you also need to lay out your circle so you know where to do your uh, pocket holes so you don't actually cut the screw so there's no real rocket science in how to draw the circle you can use uh, something like this if you have a giant compass you can use that this is a smaller bucket this is what i use this is a bigger bucket five gallon or a three gallon bucket I'm not sure exactly so i want to center that as best i can so about an inch and eighth on each side of that so i've just centered this up i got equal measurements on each all four sides i'm gonna use a mechanical pencil i prefer these over carpenter's pencils because so that's going to be our lazy susan we know all of this is cut i label one two and three so i know where they go i'm going to put two pocket holes here and two here and that'll hold the whole thing together if you don't have one of these i highly recommend it so i'm just going to take try to get as close as that pocket hole as possible clamp that together so I'm just gonna take my jigsaw and cut that circle out. Try to get as close to that line as you can and try to follow that line as much as possible so you can get as good of a circle as you can. There is a circle cutting jig for a router if you have one of those. I have the circle cutting jig. I'm not gonna use it because of simplicity. This will cut it out close enough and we can sand off any imperfection. So I didn't do the best job of cutting that circle out. I kind of done it in a hurry. Uh, I'm gonna take my sander and just start sanding that and try to round it up as best I can, but you need to get it close. Just gonna attach that Lazy Susan piece to the bottom. It just screws on with some uh, half inch screws. Stain and paint that whatever color you want. That's a nice little quick project. So I actually have some walnut and white oak drops off of other projects. If you wanna fancy up your uh, Lazy Susan, you can use hardwoods to make it look a little different. You can stain or paint this, distress this, whatever you wanna do. This is spruce, it'll work perfectly fine. These will sell. These will be a little less expensive because it's soft wood. It's very accessible wood. Uh, you could probably make four, three, four of these out of a 10 foot one by six. And so it'd be very economical for you to build several of these uh, by the Lazy Susan Hardware. Link in the description below. And you can have several of these you could offer for sale locally or on your Etsy shop or online shop, wherever you got. But just because I want to, I want to make one out of walnut and white oak. That's it. So because this stuff is different thicknesses, I'll be using a planer. Most uh, beginners aren't gonna have a planer. And so I'll be using a planer to get all these the same thickness. However, uh, we'll be cutting these down into smaller strips and gluing them together so that it kind of has a different pattern.
I got my Lazy Susan hardware in from Amazon. As you can see, they're ball bearings. It's gonna be a smooth, man, it is smooth turning, right? So this is what we're using. Uh, they come in packs of four for like $13, $15. They're very inexpensive, so you can batch these things out. It'd be a good seller for you. Let me show you how to install it. I'm just gonna take this old t-shirt and lay down. This is what I use as basically a shop rag. Uh, I'm gonna find which side I like best for the top of this. We're gonna turn it face down t-shirts to protect this from being scarred up or get paints transfer or some junk on there from the workbench take my lazy susan hardware lay it on there and find the center of it three inches to the edge each way and i'm just going to attach that corner first and then we'll square it up do the other corners always pre-drill we'll make sure that we don't uh, split our wood at this point in the game and i've just got these little bitty screws that i have on hand you don't have to use anything particular just a wood screw and don't overdrive them just want to make sure the head doesn't stick up and interfere with your rotation. Now I'm just going to take a square, square that edge up. Now that I've got one side tied down. As long as it's close, you're not building a clock, so it's not going to matter extreme amount. When you're pre-drilling, especially as thin as this piece is, you want to make sure you don't drill all the way through and punch a hole on the other side. That's one of the main things you're looking for there. But one good thing you can do is, oh, like on our other Lazy Susan, it has that cork circle bottom just a round cork board you buy those in any craft store walmart hot glue that dude on there that'll protect your tables or i have some of these uh just felt stick pads i mean they're just stick on felt pads they stick to most everything pretty good i'm just gonna stick one on every corner that'll keep it off of any surface from scratching it these are felt so they'll slide a little bit not, they're not slippery but you just stick those on and then they can peel them off if they want to but they have to actually pick out them to get them off because they're pretty sticky yeah baby yeah check that out it's trying to spin it and play big dummy this turned out so nice check that out the Watco Danish Oil, as well as this Lazy Susan Hardware. Links to those will be in the description below. Go check those out for yourself. If you like these projects, click that next box right there. It takes you some more project videos. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that more than you know. If you click that box right there and watch another video, you get a virtual fist bump, and I appreciate you watching. Come back for more. If you like this project video, these quick projects, comment below and let me know that and I'll make some more.